Okay, moving on to 2.3 of Honors Algebra 2. We're graphing linear equations. So you should have the background of slope now. We know what a function is. We are going to be graphing linear functions. Okay, so key question, how do you graph a linear function? Now, I'm going to focus on the form, slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And we should have a background of this from Algebra 1, knowing that the m is going to be our slope, and the b is our y-intercept. Now, slope is on tell us the steepness of our line. Remember, rise over run, how far up, how far over you need to go to get another point on that line. The y-intercept is our starting point. That is where our line is going to cross the y-axis. Now, here we have steps of graphing a slope in the intercept form. y equals 2 over 5x plus 1. Now, the steps, okay, Get the equation in the slope-intercept form, identify m and b, plot b on y-axis, use your m to plot a second point, and draw your line. So going through these steps, get the equation in slope-intercept form. We're good. y equals mx plus b, and if you want to, put it underneath. That might help you identify. Do step two, identify your m and identify your b. Our m is 2 over 5. Our b is... One. So we know our slope, rise over run, is 2 over 5. Our y-intercept is 1. That's going to be our starting point. That's why step 3, plot B on the y-axis. That's where our first point is going to go. So we put a nice big dot there. Now some people like to, I tell students, leave your pencil on that point. That is your starting point. When people move their pencil off of there, they tend to go back to the origin 0, 0. That point there, that is our new starting point. That's where we're going to count 2 over 5. Remember, rise over run. You're going to count vertical first and then your horizontal. From this point, 1, 2. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. They're both positive, so positive is up. Positive uh, horizontally is to the right. And there's our two points. To graph a linear function, you only need two points. Okay? I'm not going to pull out a straight edge. Just draw it as straight as you can through those two points and your graph should look something like that and okay, hopefully maybe a little nicer than mine um, but we need two points to draw a linear line linear equations are straight line equations there should not be any curve uh, there, there's no bend to it so there's the steps for graphing an equation Look at a couple more examples here. We want to look at y equals negative 4 over 5x minus 2. Now, with that equation, it's already in slope intercept form. We want to identify our m as negative 4 over 5, our b as negative 2. So we have our M, we have our B, we're on plot negative 2, that's our starting point. Okay. Now, the slope this time, negative 4 over 5. Make sure you're only making either the numerator or denominator negative. I like to tell students to rewrite the equation so you know which one's positive, which one's negative. Negative 4 over positive 5. Just make sure you're not doing both of those values as negative values. Okay? Two negatives would make a positive uh, slope. This is negative, so I'm going to have my 4 be negative. You could have made the 4 positive and the 5 negative. You end up with the same line. But if I'm going to graph this now, starting at this point, 1, 2, 3, 4 down, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right, and there's my point. Now, before I write that, if I would have done positive 4 and negative 5, well, let's see where that point goes. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This time, I went up 4 because it's positive, and to the left, 5, making it because it's negative. But if you draw the line, now I just have three points. It's still a straight line. Okay, and there's our line. Again, hopefully yours is slightly nicer. Okay, but there's our line of best fit, or sorry, not line of best fit, our line for the linear function y equals negative 4 or 5x minus 2. Now 
Now, making sure that you put these in slope intercept form okay, is important. Solving getting y by itself is important. We have 3x plus 4y equals 16. So this is standard form, not slope intercept form. So you couldn't just pick out your m and your b right now. Solving it for slope intercept form is important. That gives you where your value starts at and what you're going to count by. Okay. Start by bringing my 3x over, subtracting it both sides. Divide by 4. Okay. Just like we were solving in chapter 1, everything needs to be divided by 4. y equals negative 3 over 4x. There's no simplifying there, so we're just going to leave it negative 3 over 4. 16 over 4 simplifies the 4. So there's our m, there's our b. Let's start this off. Our m, negative 3 over 4. Our b is 4. So we're going to start at 4 on the y-axis. And we're going to go negative 3, so down 3. And then over positive 4. Okay. It doesn't hurt. If you want to make a couple more points, just go from that next point. One, two, three. One, two, three, four. And sometimes it's just easier to have more points. Now you can have uh, more accuracy when you draw this line. And there it is. Okay, so putting it in slope intercept form first is important. That's how you get your M, that's how you get your B. And now vertical and horizontal lines. These technically are not in slope intercept form. These are going to be in standard form. Okay? And when you look for vertical and horizontal lines, this is a very, I think it's a very simple topic, but it's one that people move through quickly because it's so simple, but then later on they forget about what these equations look like. When you're looking for a vertical line, okay, think about a vertical line. Vertical lines are going up and down. Every vertical line is going to hit the x-axis. Okay? So the equation for vertical line is x equals. Okay? So if I say graph the vertical line where the equation is x equals, let's say 5. Okay? That means on the x-axis, you go to 5. So you're not starting the y-intercept this time. It's going to be the x-intercept. The vertical line, unless it's on the y-axis, it will not hit the y-axis. But I'm going to go over to 5 on the x-axis, and there's my vertical line okay? going through that point. For a horizontal line, Okay, horizontal line going across. Every horizontal line hits the y-axis. Y equals is going to be the equation. So let's say y equals negative 2. So now this does have a y-intercept. It's going to cross at negative 2. And there is our horizontal line. Okay? So that's graphing the equation for section 2.3. The second part is going to deal with x and y intercepts, how do you identify them and how do you use them to graph?